Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is my team selection video for game week 25. But before that, we'll just take a quick look at how my team performed in game week 24. So I started with Ward, he gave me two points. In my defense, I brought in Tarkovsky in place of Patterson by mistake. I actually wanted to take out Botman, but he gave me a clean sheet and also kept two bonus points. Shaw did keep a clean sheet, but was substituted before the 90 minutes or else he would have also got bonus points too. Then in my midfield, I went with Rashford as my cap who scored twice but only got two bonus points because Bruno Fernandes was superb in that game. Odegaard despite getting only an assist got three bonus points. Martinelli did score in the latter stages. I benched Martinelli actually but Mitrovic was not even there in the squad so Martinelli came on and Mahrez was also not in the squad or didn't play that's why Botman came on De Bruyne only with a two-pointer and in my attack I had NKT and Holland. so most of you have kept Holland. I went with Rashford which enabled me to get a great green arrow so that took my gimmick tally to 68 my overall points to 1542 and my overall rank to 45167 so right now I have 4.0 million in my bank and one free transfer so this is how my team is lining up for blank game week 25 without making any changes but before this I hope you watch the entire video and I, I would appreciate it if I get 20 to 25 likes for this video and also if I you enjoy watching the video please consider subscribing to my channel and without further ado we'll just get right into it. I have Ward as my goalkeeper, Tarkovsky, Biono and Shaw as my defenders with Shaw blanking and Tarkovsky and Biono doubling up. There is a chance that Biono might not feature in both these games too. Then in midfield De Bruyne, Mahrez, Odegaard and Martinelli. Odegaard and Martinelli with double game weeks and possibly De Bruyne is ill. He might be missing their Champions League matchup midweek. But I think illness to this sports players is a matter of one or two days. I think he will be available uh, at the weekend against Bournemouth. And I am relieved that he is not playing this Champions League game because I was really worried if he played this Champions League game, he would have benched for the Premier League matchup. So I think he will get fit and I think he will be ready to go on against Bournemouth. Then in attacking department, it's Mitrovic, Holland and Nkitia. Mitrovic was injured, but I think he'll be ready to go against Wolves and it's an home game. I expect him to get attacking returns. Holland is actually a good captaincy choice because he'll be coming up against Bournemouth. And then it's Nkitia who again has a double game week. So as I've said, I have 4 million in my bank and when free transfer, I have 10 play playing players for match day 25. So I might make only one change or I would take a minus four hit. So the players I'm looking at right now for the blank and double game week 25 hours are Salah, Darwin Nunes, Cody Gakpo and Trent Alexander-Arnold. So Salah and Darwin Nunes both scored in their Champions League matchup against Real Madrid and Salah was the assist maker for that Darwin Nunes goal. But I still don't think Salah is a great choice for this double game week. I think he's not getting at the end of the chances. He's acting as their second chief creator behind Trent Alexander-Arnold. He did look threatening in that game against Real Madrid and he's coming against weaker oppositions in Crystal Palace and Wolves. Still, I think on that right-hand side, uh, sticking to the line, I don't fancy him to get uh, goals unless and until he gets penalties but this season as we have seen already there are there have not been avoided many penalties like previous two seasons so i don't quite fancy salah in this game week so darwin Nunes i quite like because he's getting at the end of chances every single game he tucked in one in a game against real madrid if he does the same against these two oppositions i think he'll definitely get one or two goals so i quite fancy him a lot so I actually have three playing attackers right now that is Nketiah, Holland and Mitrovic. So there is a chance that I might get Darwin for in place of Mitrovic. Then there's Alexander Arnold. Even though Real Madrid score, uh, scored five goals against Liverpool at home, I don't think that matters a lot in this Premier League fixture because they have Crystal Palace. It's an away game and Wolves at home. Both teams have been lacking goals. And I think Trent Alexander-Arnold since the restart has created most number of chances from a defender. He has created 15. He has looked a little bit better offensively. And with the fitness of 
Van Dijk and possibly now Matic. I think they will be little bit better defensively. I don't think that they will keep keep two clean sheets, but there is a chance that they will keep one because Wolves and Crystal Palace don't have that great of attack. They haven't scored many goals in recent game weeks, and with the coupled with Trent Alexander Arnold's attacking progress, I think at seven point three he's a good pick and. You might own him for a couple of game weeks as he has Man United in 26, then again Bournemouth and Fulham in 27 and 28. And in game week 29, he also has a double game week of Manchester City and Chelsea, though these both are very tough games. I still fancy him for this four fixture run, so I might go with him. Then I might hold on with De Bruyne. I'm actually right now resisting Salah because I fancy Bruno Fernandes. He will have a double game week in game week 29 and I don't think I'm planning to use my wildcard in recent game weeks. So instead of going with Salah in this game week, I might transfer De Bruyne out for Fernandes in the next game week. So that might change leading to the deadline but right now these are my plans and also i might go for darwin as i said earlier darwin for mitrovic but if i need to make these two changes that is mitrovic to darwin and alexander uh, shaw to alexander arnold i need to make it quit before any price rise i just have the exact amount of money in my market to make these moves if any one of these two increases in price i won't be priced out of the move so yeah i need to keep an eye on this price changes so right now these are my favorite pros that might change till the deadline so yeah so having said that my lineup would be ward as my goalkeeper tarkovsky biano and trent starting maharaj odegaard martinelli and de Bruyne in midfield darwin holland and then kitia and i actually prefer both Darwin Nunes and also Trent Alexander Arnold in front of Salah as a captaincy choice. I I do even think that Holland is a massive captaincy choice this week too. He has the ability to score three goals against Bournemouth. Bournemouth has have been one of the poorest side in the league, and as we have seen, he has got many hat tricks in single game weeks too this season. So I don't think Holland is a bad choice either. So I have three of them. That is Holland. Darwin and Trent all in front of Salah for the captaincy this week. So yeah, do let me know guys what you think of my team and my changes in the comment section below. And if you have enjoyed watching this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram at FPL Football Fanatic. And I'll see you in the next one. Good luck.